note what happens when the market goes up quite a bit, when it goes up to 600. Suddenly my delta increased. So what needs to happen? Let's just say the market suddenly jumps from 580 to 600. But remember, I'm a market maker. I'm not trying to bet on the market going up. Suddenly I'm effectively long because now I've, I've sold about 50, I've sold 50% of my shares in the underlying market or my, or my futures in the underlying market. But this delta tells me that if we go up another dollar, I'm going to make 65 cents. Here, I'll prove it to you. We should go to 35.45, right? 46, yeah. So being only short 50% is not hedged. Now I'm betting on the market going up and vice, and vice versa. If it goes down, I'll lose. So, um, so I'll get to that question in just a second, Marco. So, okay, so what do we need to do as a hedger? Um, we need to sell more. We were short 50%, right? Um, so we, and, but now we need to be short 65%. So we sell another 15%, um, of our, of, uh, of the underlying. So again, if it was on hundred shares, we sell another 15 shares, uh, and that will make us indifferent, but notice what the price is now. Remember we first did this trade at 580 and now it's at 600. And so we first sold, you know, about 52 shares at, or 52 futures at, at 580 and now we're selling another 13 futures at 600. What happens if the market goes back down to 580? Ah, our delta falls again. We're back to only needing about 52 futures to be to be hedged. So we get to buy back those futures we sold. Those the extra 13 futures that we sold at 600, we get to buy them back at 580. Free money, right? So we just made money. Um, and what happens if the market falls from 580 to 560? Ah, our delta is only 38%. So we don't need to have to be short all 52 futures. We can actually turn around and buy back 14 futures. And then what? And we're buying them at 560, lower than 580. And then if we go back to 580 again, ah, look, we get to sell those 15. Uh, 14 lots that we bought down at 560, we get to sell them again at 580. So you can see that hedging this option that we're long, we make money every time it moves. This is great. We can't go wrong. When the market rallies, we get to sell. When it falls, we get to buy back. It forces us to buy low and sell high. So we're actually making money. So the big question, so, so what could go wrong? I should just do this all day, right? Well, premium. Uh, so you have to pay an option premium. Uh, and for options traders, we call that beta. So every day. Um, so, so that's really the answer to your question right there, Marco, is there's two ways that you can, you know, make money in options trading. Obviously, if you just sell a call option, if you just buy this call option and, uh, you know, someone hits your bid and then someone just turns around. So if you buy it, cause someone sells it to you, and then someone turns around and immediately buys the same one from you for a little bit higher than where you bought the first one. Sure, you make money. But what happens if you don't have the chance to do that? Because usually you don't you don't get that lucky. Someone's buying and selling at the same time. So you hope that you bought it at cheap enough implied volatility that you'll make money on this delta hedging game. Because remember, every time the market goes up and down, you get a hedge. Mm -hmm.